Today in this fast paced world running an online business means staying connected even when you are on the go customers expect you to reach out to them from anywhere and any time Hi everyone I am Nishtha today we are introducing the CS card mobile app the power of e-commerce in the palm of your hands it's never been easier to create your own mobile app CS Card mobile app offers a smooth experience for both you and your customers. Now let's take a look at what makes it so special. With CS Card mobile app, manage your online store from anywhere and anytime. Stay updated about new sales with instant order notification. Never miss an update. Stay connected with your customers effortlessly. Reply to their messages, handle customer support and build strong relationships. Now let's give it a trial. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell to stay updated with the latest content. Apart from this, I would like to mention that if you need extensions for increasing the sales of your e-commerce store, then you can visit store.webcool.com. and explore a number of products for every technology we also have the user guide for the same in our blog sections from where you can check the features and configuration and get to know the functionality of the extensions as well now let's move back to our video already shown you the back end configuration of this mobile application so today we're going to show you the front end that how it will going to appear to your customer So once I have installed uh, this app, it will going to appear on our device like this as it is appearing on the home page. So we're going to tap on the app icon. Here you can see the walk through pages there. It is basically provide an overview that how or what you will going to see in the app. Skip. Now here we are on the home page. On the home page you can see the feature category the special offer category products popular products parent category images best products latest products popular products etc and if we're going to for example open any of the products so we can see recently viewed products as well at the bottom these are the feature listing which we have added in our back end configuration as in the home page we have customized the layout we have customized from the background the same way it is appearing in our home page so first of all we'll going to log in into the app for that you can see the profile option is there click on this profile here the second option is login click on login now you have three options to login sign in with email create an account or you can even a login using your social media account so we'll going to click on sign in with email here we have to enter the email and the password then click on sign in or if you want you can create an account as well now there is an option that you want to allow fingerprint login as well so if in case you want to allow the same so just click on okay or if you want to cancel so just click on cancel now again we are on the home page So on the top right hand side you can see there are two options one is uh, one is for search and second is for notification so we'll click on search option here we can search by three methods the first one is we can either type what actually we are looking for example i can type it like this so you can see there are options i can see and i can choose from the same The next one is we can speak by allowing this uh, to use our audio, so we can just speak the products which you are which we are actually looking for. The third one is we are scanning. In the scanning, you can uh, scan the image or you can scan the text. For example, you have written some of uh, some kind of text that what actually you are looking for, and you can just scan that text and it will automatically search that particular product. and in the image search you can just scan the image what actually you want and it will automatically give you the results of the options which are available in the app so like this you can search it in three ways like the first one is 
writing the second one is scanning and the third one is by speaking the next option is notification from the notification you can get the notifications or the updates which are regarding the app or regarding the products now on the bottom side you can see the four options are there the first one is home page the second one is category in the category you can see the categories which are available so we can just click on view all you can customize the category according to the sort by choosing any of the options the next one is filter choose any of the filter you want and the third one is list or grid you can uh, change the view of the categories if you want so like this you can change it now if i open this product so i can see the product description from here i can add this product to my wish list by clicking on this my wish list or if i want i can add to this cart click on this add to cart now i will show you how you can purchase any product so i'm going to open any other product and click on this buy now option here you have to choose the shipping method or the shipping address now choose the payment method and click on proceed your order has been received that means you have successfully placed an order so easily and so quickly the order has been placed now so we'll click on continue shopping the next one is cart in the cart you can see the products which you have added into the cart right now there are no products that's why it's showing empty if in case we're going to add any of the product for example i'm adding this product to cart Now you can see the product is in the cart. So from here you can directly make a purchase. The next option is profile. In the profile the first option is my dashboard. In the my dashboard you can see the recent orders and the address. In the recent orders there are two options that is details and reorder. If in case you want to check the order details so just click on this order ID and you can check the order details like this. Want to reorder the same product so just click on this reorder. and you will be easily able to reorder the products which you have ordered previously by by just proceeding the steps forward in the address you can check the address which are added to this dashboard the second one is account information in the account information you can check the uh, account information re related to the particular customer If you want you can add a new profile as well. The next one is my orders in the my orders the same way you can check the orders or you can reorder the same product you have ordered previously. The next one is my wish list in the my wish list you can see the products which you have added in the my wish list. Track order just enter your email or the order ID and you can track the order like where is your order it is Uh, on the way or it is yet preparing so you can check the uh, like track history or track details of your order the next one is log out the next is settings in the settings there are three options the first one is notification you want the notifications uh, to be updated like as in there is any new update or new notification in the app so if you open okay this notification so it will going to remind you about the notification in the dark mode you can use the app in the dark mode like this the next one is delete account if in case you want to delete the account so just click on this delete account here these are the preferences in the preferences you can change the language you want and in the same way you can change the currency you want the next is about our company privacy policy uh, policy and the contacts from here you can check these details as well by clicking on this about our company privacy policy and next is contact once you are done with this you can just easily log out cs cart mobile app the power to elevate your e-commerce business download the cs cart mobile app today 
and witness the power of managing your online store from the convenience of your phone. Found the video helpful? Do press the like button and share your views in the comment section below. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to contact us at support at webcool.com or raise a ticket at webcool.ubdesk.com. See you all in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.